What's up guys, Cleef101 here, and today I'm bringing you episode 10 of Road to Remake, and today, um, oh, in this episode, we've just beaten Raps, is it? Um, yeah, the sewer monster that we fight just after Don Corneo, uh, it was pretty simple, no problems really there. I went through and talked about a couple more of my thoughts with the remake and what I'm hoping. I'll probably continue to do that throughout the episodes. I can't really see that changing. Um, yeah. So, I don't actually <laughs> have a great deal that I want to particularly talk about at the moment, to be perfectly honest. Um... I just kind of went into this episode all gun ho I kind of did that with the last episode too. But that kind of worked out alright, so... Woo! I got a yeah that time. I'm not very good at doing that. Just so that, you know, uh, hitting those yeahs. You can... There is a bit of a... I wouldn't say glitch, an exploit that you can use by constantly tapping square. Uh, I'll show you when it comes up in the menu. It brings... It takes the menu away when you hold it. So if you tap it, it's constantly showing like that. Uh, it basically sort of slows down the slot so you can kind of choose what you need to or what you want to. Um, it's best used for the battle arena, which we won't see for a while. So probably if I'm gonna guess, the battle arena will, uh, um, well, if this is episode 10, I dare say I'm probably going to get to about episode 18-ish before I get out of Midgar. Uh, actually, no, episode 20 sounds more likely. <laughs> um, episode 20... Uh, if not more, so you could probably uh, uh, double that, and I would probably get to roughly about yeah yeah roughly about to where you get to um, the gold saucer episode episode forty ish. Man, if that's gonna it's, it's gonna take that long episode forty to the gold saucer. This is gonna take a long time to get through the game. Which is fine, it's going to keep plenty of content on my channel for you guys. <laughs> Why would I attack with swordplay? Oh, I missed anyway. I don't think... Oh, I did it again. God. I don't think stealing from these enemies is particularly useful. I think I can steal from enemies in the Shinra building and get some rewards there. And I know I can do it from enemies outside of Midgar. But it's kind of pointless doing it in these areas. You don't get a particularly lot of good equipment. Um, yeah, so, you know, it is what it is. Why would I do that? Silly. Alright, let's go. Through the train graveyard. I think I'm just going to record two episodes here. Um, now I've already done that. And can I do anything? Is there anything down here? I forget if there's anything down here. I'm just going to check it out anyway. I'm really like literally just recently played the game and I already forget, so. You can be my healer. So it slows it down. I still missed it anyway, so I'm not very good at it. <laughs> don't don't trust me to do anything. This is not very good. It doesn't even matter if I use magic with with uh, Aerith right now because I'm close to losing her for a little bit. So I'm just gonna go gung ho with the magic. Blam blam. Actually. I'm pretty sure from the ghosts, I can get some equipment, or maybe it's from those sickle things. Maybe I'll just try and steal while I'm fighting and find out. I think I can actually. 
Jeez, that's going to be a bit of a boo-boo on my part. No, I can't get anything from here. All right, fair enough. I'll just go the normal way then. I'll go the correct way. Do do. I did say I loved the music. That's right. Um, in the last video, I did say check out Voices of the Life Stream. Fantastic. I think it spent them a few years to actually go through it and do. Uh, and compile it all. So must watch must must watch watch listen download um i'll just wait then wait for you to come back so i can steal from you yeah these guys disappear they're a pain in the ass because uh, once they disappeared you can't attack them until they reappear but i'm pretty sure while they disappeared they can still attack you so there's that <laughs> oh it's not very nice couldn't steal anything. No! I'll attack you then. Um, I'm probably going to need to heal someone if that's doing 75 damage with fire to me. Mm. So what's going on with you guys anyway? I don't think it's. I think it's. I don't think I've even asked you guys how how you are. Please, by all means, why would I attack with? Tifa. I'm trying to steal. Uh, by all means, like leave comments down below, guys, because I do respond to pretty much every single comment that I get. Whoa, that's heavy. Um, I do reply to every every comment that I get, regardless of whether it's good or, or bad, because um, I just like interacting with you guys. So if you do like something in particular, let me know, because I will interact with you. Um, and I will give you more of what you like. So, you know, there's that too. Give me whatever it is that you have. Give it to me. I'll wait for you to come back. This battle is taking forever. It's like taking five minutes, and it really shouldn't. Purely because I'm experimenting. <laughs> so, I think I'll just title this video... The battle that never ends. Stole ghost. What? Alright. It's time for you to die. I didn't see that. Ghost something. Hmm. No. Um. I'll just get you to attack. Because it's... No, I'm not going to do anything with you. You're just going to waste your MP. I'm surprised that ice... The... 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 the difference between ice and bolt on these guys is so large it's massive considering Aerith has got higher magic stats than what cloud does um, she should be doing more damage with magic oh nice cross slash um, I think that would be a good opportunity to show you guys what's and how the limits work um, I think I sort of explained it before but without actually showing it it's kind of hard so I'm just going to quickly go like this okay so in your limits for cloud you've got two two um two levels two limits under each level except for level four you've got one but level four you have to equip so you have to get the item and then you have to teach them it so you you give it to them but you can only give it to them once they have learned all of their other limit breaks. The way that they do that is, say, to get Cross Slash, uh, Cloud has to use Braver, I think it's eight times. Um, every other character is six or seven to get their, to get their level, you know, the second limit break. Um, and then, or not then, but while you've got one equipped, you, oh, don't ice them, <laughs> jeez, once you've got them equipped, uh, you have to defeat a certain amount of enemies, not be in a certain amount of battles, but defeat a certain amount of enemies, and once you've defeated a certain amount of enemies, then it goes up into the next level, so you get level 2 limit breaks. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> oh, you've got no magic. Boo! Uh, yeah, you know roughly where they are, so you can generally pretty well get the yes if you do it properly. 
but the higher Tifa's limits get, the harder it is because they throw in misses in there that you can choose. So if you hit a miss, it doesn't actually get it. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. Gotta move some trains. Gotta move some trains. So once we've passed here, we come back into sector seven. You will recognize. Oh my god, really? I really, I just did that. Oh. Oh well. I don't need it up there anyway. You can stay down there for all I care. Do, 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 do. I want to move you back. Yes. Let's go. Um you yeah, you you'll know No. You'll know the next screen as soon as you see it. Um because we've been there before. Which is cool. There is one particular area in Sector 7 that you can't access. Which is really, really annoying because I really want to access it. I'm just going to throw a potion on you. Did I... Oh, I didn't even check out what that ghost thing was, did I? Oh well. I'm going to check it out later. I don't need a potion. Still, have I stolen anything? I'm really, really not paying attention to actually what I'm doing. I'm looking at, at other things. Oh, I've already stolen. Uh, what was it though? Let me try and steal from you instead. <laughs> See if I can pick it up this time. Whoa, 29 Aerith. Settle down, chick. Couldn't steal anything. Getting aggressive. Whew. Don't we all like a bit of sword play? Hmm? Oh, Selig, you've got very little time to steal from this fun. Third attempt, Aether. Uh, okay, Aethers are good. Aethers, what they do, uh, so potions restore your HP or your health points. Aethers restore MP or your magic points. So, say Aerith there has only 2 MP, which means she can't use any magic. Because uh, Ice uses 4 MP, Bolt... Uh, Cure uses five. She's only got two, so she doesn't have enough. Um, and then Aethers restore your MP, so you can use magic again, which is what I would normally do with Aerith. I lie. I would not normally do that. I don't use items a lot in this game, so Aethers and everything, because I don't use magic a lot. I Normally, I'm overpowered, so I'm a powerhouse, and so I can just attack. So, but this time around, I have to use magic because I'm not that powerful. I have to strategize and use the mechanics of the game a lot more than what I normally would. So yeah, like I said, I'm really, really hoping I don't get game overs. And I, I can see myself getting game overs, possibly, on three occasions. One could potentially be against Dine, because I do remember I used to have difficulty with him. One could potentially be, potentially be, one will definitely be against Demon Wall. And the other is against that claw thing on disc two when you go to get the submarine. Now, for those of you that have played that the game already, you'll know exactly which boss fights I'm talking about. They are, the, the, the Demon Wall and the claw machine thing are two of the most notorious uh, fights within the game, bosses within the game that are extremely hard to do. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's coming up to the end of the video. The save point's just right ahead of me. I don't need to do anything more. I'm just going to go straight to the save point, save it, and I'll leave you guys here. So, um, let me know if you're enjoying this playlist, uh, this, this Let's Play, this Road to Remake, because I do quite enjoy actually doing it and giving it to you guys. Um, it's enjoyable for me. It's quite fun. Um, going through, playing the game, talking about my thoughts, and 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 just sharing one of my all-time favorite games with you. Um, it's pretty cool. So I will leave it there. You have a nice day, and I hope you've enjoyed listening to me. Bye.